Hello students. In this video, we're going to determine whether or not three vectors are linearly independent. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is write down the definition of linear independence. And that says if we take a linear combination of these three vectors um, and uh, we set it equal to the zero vector, then these vectors are linearly independent if and only if c1 equals c2 equals c3 is zero. That means the only way that you can get a combination of these three vectors to be zero is if um, you multiply each of them by zero. Otherwise, we say that the vectors are linearly dependent. So let's set up this um, linear combination. All right, so I'm just gonna apply the definition. So c1 times v1 is c1 times this vector, plus c2 times this vector, plus c3 times this vector, and the zero vector is vector with all zeros. Alright, so um, this condition <clears throat> is our test, whether or not we have linear independence or dependence. And um, so I've just written this this uh, linear combination and I set it equal to zero. That's okay, so that's the phrasing we're going to use. So in other words, I have a system of equations here. Um, this is how, this is just matrix vector multiplication. Right? So if I take this ma these vectors, right, or this matrix times this vector, I'm just taking C1 and I'm multiplying it by all the vectors in this column, plus C2 times all the vectors in this column, plus C3 times all the vectors in this column, and that's going to be equal to the right-hand side 0. So I have a system of equations. That's what a linear combination is. It's a system of equations. And then I'm going um, to write this as an augmented system. So um, I take this linear equation, which again, uh, this linear combination, which again is a system of equations, right? It's the um, matrix vector multiply, which is a linear combination of the columns of this matrix. I put it in augmented form, and I'm now going to put this in echelon form because I want to solve the system. Now, if this if the system has a unique solution where C1, C2, and C3 are all zero, then I know that my vectors are linearly independent. However, if I get something that's not zero, then I know that my vectors are dependent. So let's solve this system. Okay, um, I'm going to do the following row operations. You could pause the video and then perform these operations, and you will get um, this reduced uh, matrix up here. Okay, I'm not going to take the time to go through all those steps. That's not germane to the problem. Um, you could um, practice that um, in the, um, on your own. All right, so now I have this reduced system. So um, I notice that when I have a row of all zeros here and an augmented system, that means I have infinitely many solutions. So I'm going to use back substitution to determine what C1, C2, and C3 are. So um, if I look at this second row, I have minus 8 C2 plus 4 C3 is equal to 0. So I solve for C2, and I um, get 1 half C3. So I'm going to de um, define C3 to be my free variable in this case. I take the top equation. That's C1 minus C2 plus 3 fourths C3, and that's also equal to 0. I push all this stuff here, the C2, C3 um, variables, to the right-hand side. And... Um, I get C2 minus 3, 4, C3, and then, but remember from this first equation, C2 is equal to 1 half C3, so here comes the back substitution. I let C2 be 1 half C3. And then I combine these, so um, 1 half minus 3 fourths is minus 1 fourth, and I get C1 is minus 1 fourth C3. So I've now solved for this vector, C1, C2, and C3, and I get minus 1 fourth C3, 1 half C3, and 1 C3, because C3 is my free variable. Now notice that I already know that the vectors are linearly dependent because I have not satisfied this definition. So the test here fails um, in that regard um, that where C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C3 is equal to 0. I've just found the vector that um, where that's not the case. So um, I'm just going to factor out the C3. I'm going to let C3 be some parameter t, and now I'm going to try to convince you that I've actually found um, C1, C2, C3 that are not 0, so that when I add these columns together, I get 0. So let's, let's, let's um, let t be 4, 
If I let t be 4, then I distribute the 4 and I get a minus 1, a 2, and a 4. And then I just see that if I do this linear combination with minus 1 times the vector plus 2 times the ve this vector plus 4 times this vector, I will get 0. So let's just test that for maybe the top row, just to, for a sanity check. So minus 20 plus minus 24 is minus 44, plus 4 times 11 is 44, so minus 44 plus 44 is 0. And you can test the following two rows to make sure you get all zeros. Therefore, I found a C1, C2, C3 that are not 0, um, such that when I take this linear combination, I get the 0 vector. So these three vectors are linearly dependent. So are the vectors v1, v2, v and v3 linearly independent? No, they're not. I found a way to write one vector in terms of the other two vectors. Okay, good luck.